blog. She has over 5 million followers on her blog. She's a home cook who's all about delicious food with fewer calories, less fat, lower carbs, just good food that all of us can make. So Gina, come on out. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. Thanks so for being be here. here. Congratulations you. on you. your first book. Thank you so we much. We hug Cheryl. here at YHJ. Thank so you. Um, tell me a little bit about your philosophy with cooking and sort of how was this cookbook born? Sure. So I never, I, I love making everything from scratch. I grew up with my parents cooking everything homemade. So I've always loved to cook. So when I was getting married, I was trying to lose, uh, lose a few pounds and I started slimming down my favorite recipes and I started blogging about it and it got so popular yeah. and here I have this book now. This brand new book with 150 recipes, 100 gorgeous photos and what I love as I go through the book and look through it Gina, everything that you do here I want to eat. Thank there's you. nothing, there's no weird ingredients, no? there's no weird foods like who would ever want that. So everything I use you can find in your local supermarket. Um, it's all real food. There's no processed ingredients. So yeah. it's just good food that you can feel good about feeding your kids. I have two girls and everything that I cook, they love. Yeah, so, so it has to be kid and husband approved, exactly. right? My kids and my husband are my taste testers. So if they don't like it, it didn't go in this book. Well, let's talk about some of the recipes that you brought for me to try here. Yeah. I mean, first of all, can I just say, I'm looking at these scones with frosting and I'm thinking, so how does this meet skinny taste criteria? Right. So these are pumpkin scones, and oh this is gosh. pumpkin season, so I I'm pretty pumpkin here. obsessed. I am so, too. So I lighten these up by using a little bit of pumpkin puree and using less butter, but it, I use real butter, I just use less of it, and then I topped it with a delicious vanilla bean glaze. Oh my gosh. Aren't they amazing? How is this skinny taste? Yeah, I mean, it's much lighter than a scone that you would get in a, in a fancy coffee shop. Yes, and, which and, those have like 800 and calories. And there's like nothing better than the smell of pumpkin when you're baking it in the oven. I mean, it just ma makes your whole house smell like That is delicious. Fall. Seriously, you could open up your own bake shop Thank and you. sell those and you would make a fortune. Thank you. Wow, what else do you have for me? So here I have macaroni and cheese. Okay. And my kids love macaroni and cheese, so I, yes. that was something that's like such right? a comfort food dish that I had to recreate to lighten up. Look at and, how creamy this right, is. Right, it's still creamy and cheesy and delicious. I even added broccoli, but you could add any vegetable you like. Yeah. You, could do, you could do cauliflower, spinach. Mm -hmm. Peas, right? Peas, mm -hmm. and it has a nice crispy crust. I put some panko and some breadcrumbs on top and some parmesan, and it's just... So real cheese in here. Real cheese. Yep. All, all these ingre all these recipes have real food. Nothing's that processed. is so good. Thank you. Decadent, like the way you would want your macaroni and cheese to be, right? You want it to be warm and hearty exactly. and delicious. I don't feel like you should ever have That's to sacrifice good. taste to lose weight. So for mm. me, it's really important that everything tastes good. Otherwise, who's going to eat the food? Who's going to eat it? What else can you tell me about here? So here is a taco salad that I created, and it's so satisfying. Like I don't feel like salad should ever have to be boring. So here, it's got a taco topping, there's crunchy tortillas on top, Looks great. and this avocado dressing is like zesty and spicy and it's got cilantro and lime. It's so creamy, it really makes the salad. It's one of my favorite salads in the whole book. And speaking of avocados, Tell me about those chocolate cookies in the front. Okay, so these I have are... To, I'm so intrigued by this, Gina. These I have are to double tell you. chocolate chunk cookies that my daughter loves, and double I have no butter in cookie. them. I, instead of butter, I used avocado. So there's healthy fats inside, but it's still chocolatey and chewy and delicious. It's like a brownie and a cookie right. in one. My kids have no... Like, my daughter, Madison, is five. She has mm -hmm. no idea that these cookies have avocado in them. Those are fabulous. These are one of my favorite cookies, and I love chocolate, so... Mm, yum. Here's what you need to know, everybody. This is an advanced order price. It's under $20. Our phone lines are really busy. Over 700 books already ordered. Beautiful color photographs. I think everybody if they're honest, would love to lose a few pounds. Mm. But we all still want to cook great food for our family. So when you look at everything that's on this table, I love that these are all the foods I love to eat. Just now I have a great teacher mm -hmm. to teach me how to cut out some of the fat. And you know what I always love about these kinds of books, especially yours as I was reading it too, Gina, is that the things I learn in how to reduce the fat and the calories in the macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. I can take those tips myself Absolutely. and incorporate them into other recipes that maybe are my own family's it's recipes. So true. Once you actually start cooking these recipes, you're gonna see, wow, it's not hard to cook light and you can mm -hmm. you'll start realizing you don't need all that oil to cook mm -hmm. and a lot of times baking instead of frying like this fried chicken here yeah. this is actually baked in the oven 
There's no frying. I took but this, it looks so like crispy, crunchy, right? But it's still crunchy, juicy right? inside. It's, it's brined overnight in buttermilk. Ooh. So it's really flavorful on the inside. And it's got a crispy coating. And there's no messy mm. frying. This is one of my favorite recipes. I Delicious. have the biggest weakness for fried chicken. So mm. this recipe was a must. And then I look at this and I think, is that lasagna? But it's a special kind of lasagna. Yeah, Tell me so about it. One of my favorite ways to cut down the carbs is to replace pasta with zucchini noodles, which I, I like to call zoodles. So here, zoodles. this is zucchini instead of pasta. And it's got a meat sauce. It's cheesy. It tastes just like lasagna, but with no pasta. What do you think? Delicious. Isn't it wonderful? Mm. I love this. This is like one of my favorite lasagna Creamy, dishes. Creamy, cheesy, would never, I, don't even miss the noodle. No, you don't miss the noodle. Don't even, and Not let's at all. face it, how many of you are gardeners or live in areas where like zucchini, like you have more than you know what to do with? <laughs> right. Now you have the ability to make this delicious recipe, making a lasagna, but using long slices, ribbons of zucchini as those noodles. Yes. You could probably do that with eggplant too, you right? You can, you could do mm. it with eggplant. And mm. I love to take- That's delicious. I take uh, zoodles, which I call, which is zucchini noodles. And zoodles. I, and I use bolognese sauce on top. I, I make it with any kind of pasta sauce. Let's go through the book one more time. Light on calories, big on flavor, gorgeous book, close to 2,000 of these now ordered, Gina. Wow, They're loving great. it. Um, it's an advanced order price of $19.98. Can I just read a few recipes sure. here, everybody, too? And as I do, the one that I keep like opening my page to, first of all, there's a great chicken enchilada recipe yes. in here, chicken marsala, Italian sausage, peppers, and onions, but done lighter, slow cooker. You have slow cooker recipes in here. So there's a lot here. of slow cooker recipes, which is really great for busy moms. A lot of people tell me, they don't have time to cook, so slow cooker is a solution for that. There's, they're all labeled slow cooker. I have vegetarian recipes, gluten-free recipes, That's recipes great. that are under 30 minutes. I have them all labeled with little icons. And so, tell me about your Alfredo. So fettuccine Alfredo was yes. my number one requested recipe. So I saved it for the book. So it's okay. not on my blog, it's only in the book. And it's got chicken and broccoli. It's creamy, it's delicious, but without the guilt. Here we go. There's a guiltless sausage stuffed mushroom, French bread pizza supreme, all of your information, everybody, the calories, the fat, the protein, the carbs, fiber, all of that there. Slow cooker shredded chicken, roast beef sandwiches with a horseradish spread, uh, slow cooker chicken enchilada soup. I'm going back to the dessert section because <laughs> <laughs> I saw bread pudding there. Yes, there's a bread cheesy pudding. baked penne. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just tri-color summer penne, mahi-mahi fish tacos. I mean, this is good food that's easy and accessible. And do I see like a chocolate silk pie up this front is, there? I love chocolate pie. It was yes. one of my favorite desserts as a kid growing up. My mom used to make it for me all the time. So this is a slimmed down version and it's so chocolatey and decadent and delicious. It doesn't taste light. In fact, I brought this to a party and I didn't tell anybody it was late and everybody, it disappeared. Wow. So well, this Gina, is a great pie. your book is a success. Thank 3, you. 3,000 orders. Wow, wonderful. And if you missed anything, she's hanging out with David next hour. Thank you for coming Thank on you for my having show. Me. What a pleasure. Thank you, Jill. Um, and remember, you can check out her great blog site, skinnytaste.com. Come back, Gina, great, all right? Thank you. Um, and save me some of those pumpkin scones, <laughs> girl. You. Those are good. I Thanks will. so much, Bye. honey. See ya. All right, listen, let's talk real quickly about an item I have to tell you. I am obsessed over from Temptations. I saw this presented about a week ago with